The officers who protect the White House from attack are severely understaffed, inadequately funded, and plagued by fatigue and low morale. Those are the conclusions that were released today, part of a federal investigation in how a fence jumper got into the White House with a knife in 2014. Here's Jeff Begay's. By the time Omar Gonzalez was captured on cell phone video, he had already scaled a seven foot six inch fence and compromised White House security. According to the 70 page report by the Department of Homeland Security's Inspector General, there were a series of failures. Radios carried by Secret Service personnel didn't work properly. The alarm system inside the command center was set too low and was not heard and the alarm system inside the White House had been muted, a revelation personnel quoted in the report called shocking. It took Gonzalez, who was armed with a knife, about 30 seconds to run across the lawn and reach the White House doors. He then knocked down an officer posted on the other side who could not lock the doors. In all, he eluded eight Secret Service members before being apprehended in the East Room. The report says responding officers did not hear any radio communications about the fence jumper. One officer who drew his weapon and took cover behind a pillar was reacting to what he thought was a fight. Gonzalez was eventually subdued by two agents who had just come from escorting the president to his helicopter. Congressman Jason Chaffetz is chairman of the House Oversight Committee. I mean, it's really unac unacceptable that somebody wearing Crocs who already had a foot problem could make all his, his way all the way in past security into the White House. The Secret Service is working to implement the report's recommendations. Scott, the IG report did commend the Secret Service for not using deadly force to subdue Gonzalez, who has been released from prison after serving 16 months. Jeff Pegues in Washington. Jeff, thank you.